IC is about developing high throughput single cell genomic techniques to answer one basic question how life is generated. Uh, this new method increases the throughput from several hundred to cells or several thousand cells to millions of cells that can be profiled in a single experiment. And also these techniques don't need any special equipment, so almost any lab in the world can use this technique to study their biology. I hope more people in the world can get familiar with the great potential of single cell genomic techniques. And also, uh, I hope more researchers in the world can benefit from the rapid development of this field. Young scientists uh, usually uh, struggled in the early stage of their career, especially in the current pandemic situation. So I feel really honored to receive this award, and it's also a great encouragement to me and also my family. Uh, my supervisor sent me a link to the prize, just you know, with one line saying, "I think you should go for this." <laughs> And I and I looked at it and I thought no no thank you <laughs> it's way too prestigious for me. I just thought it's it's a really good way to write something in a less scientific format. So all the things I wanted to say during my PhD but didn't quite fit in a scientific journal's format. To summarize my essay and my research. Um, it's about extinctions and how species extinctions might affect ecosystems when, when after they're gone. So in particular I was studying Australian native digging mammals and how they affect soil functioning and what happens if they suddenly disappear from an ecosystem. It's more about their activity and their functions and their roles are also disappearing from the ecosystem. If we keep losing species, that, that balance is just um, degrading more and more until, a, until an ecosystem collapses. I think winning this prize, to me, well, it was a huge deal, being published in science, but also the, I think the, the prize also just validates my research a bit and proves that people still care about extinctions. I decided to submit an essay because I really like to write and it was uh, quite fun to rewrite a scientific manuscript as an essay. The essay was about engineering near-infrared vision and we are a team of researchers and medical doctors working on ways to repair vision loss. So we came up with the idea of sensitizing blind retinal regions to near-infrared light, which minimizes activation of adjacent healthy regions. And the essay describes our nanogenetic approach. Uh, winning this prize will help us to further accelerate the development of novel therapeutic approaches for treating uh, retinal degenerative conditions and restoring vision in blind patients. I, I worked on a variety of different projects over my PhD and I wanted to try and tie them together in some way to explain what link them uh, and sort of what my overall approach was that I was taking. My essay describes the work I did during my PhD, developing new tools to understand the brain at a variety of levels, ranging from individual molecules all the way up through brain-wide neural networks. So I developed new tools during my PhD and applied them to understand the neural basis of thirst, which is a very fundamental instinctive drive that animals uh, uh, engage in to survive. In my essay, I describe the various technologies that I developed, uh, ranging from uh, a method to study the expression of individual genes in an intact piece of tissue, all the way up to methods for reporting the activity of tens of thousands of neurons uh, distributed all over the mouse brain. What really attracted me about the brain was both that it seems like sort of a final frontier of biology in the sense that it's the most complicated, 
So even though we sort of understand the function of individual neurons, we know that how they're generally organized into neural circuits, it really is fundamentally mysterious how these different parts of the brain work together in order to produce behavior. What's any advice for somebody who might be applying for next year's contest? I think trying to take a big picture view of your research and also to try and find what you think is most impactful about your research and convey that as clearly and concisely as possible.